guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you my TBR for the month of September. Um, it's Labor Day weekend, and I've been binge-watching Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency all day, so I figured I'd better take a break and film a video before it goes crazy, because I've been watching, I've been watching it for like four hours straight, which is a long time, but anywho, let's just get right into the books. The first book I want to read in September is an audiobook that I have. It's my last audiobook that I have on Audible, and after I listen to it, I'll be totally cleared out. But this is Gutenberg's Apprentice by Alex Christie. This is about a young man who works for a bookseller, and then he meets Johannes Gutenberg, and he becomes Gutenberg's assistant, and they're printing the Bible, and they're printing all kinds of things, and it's sort of, he gets caught between his um, books, Sour mentor and Gutenberg, and it's about, um, you know, the impact the printing press had on society and all of that. It's a fiction book, but it sounds like it's going to be a really interesting read, and I'm really looking forward to getting the audiobook of this finished up. And then I have David McCullough's The Greater Journey, Americans in Paris. This takes place between 1830 and 1900, and all sorts of famous Americans went over to Paris to experience the culture and to get, you know, brought into worldview. There was like Oliver Wendell Holmes and Ralph Waldo Emerson and um, Walt Whitman and Mark Twain and all kinds of really cool, important American writers went over to Paris and lived there for a while. And it, the board mentions Elizabeth Blackwell, which was the first female doctor in America. She went over there to increase her medical knowledge, and it just sounds really fascinating. David McCullough is an author that I feel like I should have read a lot of, but I've only read one of his books. I've read The Wright Brothers, which came out, which is like his newest book, and this one's older, but I'm really looking forward to this, and I think it's going to be a really great read. I have Giant Days Volume 5, which was created by John Allison, and it is written and drawn by a bunch of people, but I've just been really enjoying this series, and I'm reading one a month, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I'll probably get this one read pretty soon, because, you know, it only takes me like 45 minutes to read one of them. And of course, these are about um, Esther, Susan, and, um, what? Daisy. I always want to say Amy, but her name is Daisy, and they're students at University in England, and yeah, it's just really exciting. In the last edition, they were, um, moving in, they were getting a house together, so presumably they'll be moving in and there'll be all sorts of hygiene, so I'm really looking forward to this. And then have You Think It, I'll Say It by Curtis Settenfield. This is a collection of short stories. Um, I don't, I don't know too much about this, except I won this from Library Theme for their early reviewer program back in April when this book was about to come out, and I never got around to writing the review. And I actually just won another book from the library themes early reviewer group, which was very interesting because normally they say if you still have one that you haven't reviewed, it like negatively impacts your chances to win another one. But somehow I won another one. But anyway, I decided I should try to read this one before the next one I won comes in the mail, so that way I won't have two of them that I need to read at once. And this cover is really cool. And this is supposed to be. Um, turned into a TV show or something by Ru Reese Witherspoon, so I'll be interested to read it and see, um, or maybe it's not Reese Witherspoon. Maybe it's, uh, is it Kirsten, Kirsten Wig? Kirsten, Kristen Wig? Or maybe she's the one that's starring in it. But anyway, there's somebody's making a mini, like a TV show of this, or a mini series or something. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, and I'm looking forward to writing my review for it and finally getting it off my TBS so I won't feel so bad about getting another book from library thing. And then I have my Jane Austen mystery for the month. This one is Jane and the Bark of Frailty. This is book number nine in the Jane Austen series, so I'm making good progress. This one has Jane living in London with her brother Henry and his wife Eliza during the season, which is like when all of the gentry and the elite come to London for the fall and winter, I believe. And so there's a scandal. There's a Russian princess princess and exchanging letters with a very prominent Tory politician. And then the um, Russian princess winds up dead on Jane's doorstep. So she's, of course, going to figure out who killed her and what the letters have to do with it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Diving back into this, 
And then finally, I got my interlibrary loan for the month, which you can't see the cover, but this is, uh, let me get the title right. The Thoughts and Happenings of Wilfred Price, Purveyors of Superior Funerals by Wendy Jones. And this is about Winifred Price, and he's a funeral director in um, 1924's A Small Town in Wales. Wales, and he decides he needs a wife, and so he proposes um, suddenly to a girl in the village, and then after he proposes, he realizes he doesn't actually want to marry her because he's met this other woman and he wants to marry that woman, and it's, and it's described as being a comedy of errors, and this has been on my TBR for a long time, so I'm looking forward to getting to this, and finally, you know, getting... You know, it sounds like it's going to be a really cute story, so I'm looking forward to this. And I got two other books that I might get to in September, if, and they, I have them both on hold at the library right now. The first one is Record of a Spaceborn View by Becky Chambers. This is the third book in the Wayfarer series, and it follows the crew of the Wayfarer, and I'm looking forward to that one. And it's on order, and I'm really excited. And then the next one I have, the last one, um, is... A, a maybe read. I'm not 100% committed to reading it because I found out it's a 650 page book, which sounds crazy, so I might save it for Tom Tom Topple, but it'll probably depend on how quickly I get to these other ones. But that's um, Lisa, Lisa White by Robert Galbraith, which of course is J.K. Rowling, and that's the fourth book in the um, Corman Strike series, and I'm really looking forward to that and seeing how him and Robin end up after the cliffhanger that happened in the last book and of course it sounds like there's going to be a great mystery so yeah i'm looking forward to that one and like again it's on order and i have it on a hold but it's still it sounds like it's going to be so long i'm not sure i want to commit to a book that long right now but we'll see like i said it'll depend on how quickly i get through the other ones so that's all the books i want to read in september i'm really looking forward to all my reads and I hope you have a great September reading month, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!